La Puna is the highest and driest desert on Earth, patterned by UV radiation. It gets only one-fifth the rainfall of Death Valley, making the land so arid and saline that almost no plants should be growing there. But they do. Not just desert halophytes, flowering grasses, herbs, half of the species are grains, which are also found in California. Even a type of prod bean. The magic is in the microbes, extremophiles, that one of my co-founders, Mariu, has studied for 20 years. We have analyzed 500 strains, 65 of which have growth-promoting properties. At Puna Bayo, we are growing them at scale to bring their superpowers to agriculture and food production. Our first products are seed treatments, using two strains. We've already treated 1,100 tons of seeds, and during Indibio, we've been getting our second year of field data from 20,000 acres of trials in Latin America. We have 40 different customers who collectively operate 2 million acres. In soybean, the biggest crop in the Americas, our growth increase doubled the gains that are claimed by competitors. In corn and in wheat, we're not only targeting yield increases, but also fertilizer reduction of up to 30%. In the US, we're working with Farmer Business Network and Intent, where we just planted 700 acres of soybeans in 10 trials across seven states. What farmers really care about is consistency, what they call win rate. Our win rate has been over 90%, 10 to 20% higher than benchmarks claimed by competitors. This is because our extremophiles stick to their roots, forming a biofilm, a mechanism they learn to survive in La Puna. Our competitors are using engineering and directed evolution to give their strains features that our extremophiles have already been doing for the last 3 billion years. Following the Nagoya Protocol guidelines, we have the exclusive license to these extremophiles. They are non-GMO, we culture them in 5 hours rather than the traditional 3 days. Our products are shelf-stable and don't need to be refrigerated, which is very important and easier to scale. In fact, we have already shipped 4,000 liters of our products. Here's what Puna can do that no competitor would even dare try. This plot in the north of Argentina is degraded and drought-stricken soil with twice the salinity that crops tolerate. We added no fertilizer or irrigation. The control crops didn't grow at all. Germination was zero. By 2050, the world could all look like this. But our seed treatment made all the difference. Right on time, drivings and soybeans prospered. By April, pots were dangling from the stems.